The town of Tilsenburg is growing. According to 2021 census data, Tilsenburg's population has increased over 17% since 2016, making it the second fastest growing census agglomeration in Ontario. With this growth has come record-setting development and building activity. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of these exciting projects. Located on North Street East between Tilson Ave and Falcon Road, North Crest Estates Phase 1 is an almost 10 hectare site. It contains 76 single detached dwellings and 72 townhomes. Streets in the subdivision include Livingston Drive, Huntley Avenue, Coulthard Street, and Curran Crescent. Construction began in April of 2020 and was completed in November of the same year. In 2021, construction began on Phase 2 of North Crest Estates. Located directly across the street from Phase 1, this 39-hectare development consists of Braun Ave, Kiba Crescent, Canary Street, Martin Street and Lark Street, over 200 townhomes and over 70 single detached dwellings are approved for the site, with construction continuing throughout 2023. Nearby on Quartertown Line, you'll find a new condominium development by 360 West Developments. Construction on this over two hectare development began in March of 2021. And when complete, will feature a commercial retail building, 28 townhomes, and 76 stacked townhouse units. The Oaks subdivision is an almost nine hectare site off Concession Street West. It has been under development since 1994. The development began with homes on William Street and Beach Boulevard. Construction on Sycamore Drive is scheduled for 2023 with Hemlock Drive, Walnut Drive, and Chestnut Drive to follow. Once complete, the subdivision will have produced a total of 212 single detached dwellings. On the eastern edge of Tilsenburg is Potter's Gate Subdivision. The third phase of construction is currently underway. With over 50 single detached dwellings and 35 townhomes being built. The fourth phase has been draft approved. When complete, 
it will cover a total of over 5 hectares, with 54 single detached homes and 25 townhomes planned. On the south side of North Street West at Quartertown Line is the future West Winds subdivision. The over 13 hectare development is not under construction yet, but the pre-servicing agreement has been signed and registered. There are expected to be over 100 single detached dwellings and two medium density townhouse blocks once the development is constructed. One of the newest developments in Tilsonburg, the Bridges subdivision, is located off of Baldwin Street and John Pound Road at the Bridges at Tilsonburg Golf Course. This almost 10 hectare development will be constructed in two phases, Green Hill Drive, Clubhouse Way and Eagles Court will have a combined total of 65 single detached homes and 24 townhouse dwellings once the development is complete. The Van Norman Innovation Park, located in the southwest portion of Tilsonburg, is an ongoing industrial subdivision development. Spanning over 24 hectares, this development offers potential commercial tenants convenient logistical access via Highway 3. It is expected to be home to several businesses within the next year, pending completion of land sales and site plan approvals. Anyone passing through downtown Tilsonburg will also notice that a number of commercial properties have been upgraded recently, thanks in part to the Tilsonburg Facade Improvement Program. Now in its ninth year, this program is a partnership between the town of Tilsonburg and the downtown Tilsonburg Business Improvement Area that makes grant funding available to downtown property owners who improve their buildings with heritage design elements. Vern's Carpet One at 80 Broadway was approved for a facade improvement grant in July of 2021, with work beginning shortly after. By May of 2022, the project was completed and the grant released. One of Tilsonburg's oldest buildings, 12 Harvey Street, also received funding for two facades. The project was started at the end of 2021 and complete by March of 2022.
The former hotel building at 41 Broadway was also recently updated. Work began in March of 2022 to update the front, side, and rear of the building. This project is currently in the final stages and should be complete in the coming months. Meanwhile, the town of Tilsenburg also updated the facade of the Customer Service Center located at 10 Lisger Ave. Although the project began in early 2021, unexpected material shortages delayed the project's completion until May of 2022. Tilsenburg's growth is expected to continue in 2023. In addition to the projects reviewed in this video, several new developments are currently in the preliminary planning stages, with Tilsenburg's building services staff seeing projects through from first inquiry to final building permit. Located near the intersection of Cranberry Road and North Street East, this proposed development will be almost four and a half hectares and would produce an additional 46 single detached dwellings, two duplex dwelling units, a commercial block, and feature the new Ambcott Crescent. More review of this proposed subdivision is expected in 2023. Phase two of the Rolling Meadows development will extend Woodcock Drive. It is expected to see a mix of single detached dwellings and townhouses developed, although the subdivision is still in the draft phase of planning and more review is expected. Spanning from Weston Drive to Concession Street West, this proposed subdivision will feature mainly low-density residential development, including single detached dwellings and townhouses, as well as some medium and high-density blocks. This subdivision is still in the draft phase, with more review to come in 2023. To learn more about investment opportunities in Tilsonburg, contact us.